So let's now see how we can add some other elements in this document. So I would like to add page numbers. So what I'm going to do is just simply come to the bottom and click once. So it opens the footer um, tab and I need to just click one more time on this tab. So I'm now inside the footer and I will just expand this and put in the page number. So that page number arrives here. I can center it. So this is the simplest way of entering a page number. What you can also do is to, you know, decorate the page number in some way that you want, say, for example, putting in a bracket or for that matter, you can just simply come here and say page, put a vertical bar and then align it right. So you can then so once you put it uh, in the footer, then it will appear on every single page. What you can also do is to just simply come here and say page seven off, and then you can come here and insert page count. LibreOffice Writer maintains a count of total number of pages. So in this document, there are currently 10 pages, and it is saying that this is seven out of 10 pages, and this is the eighth out of 10 pages, and so on and so forth. So you can actually do any kind of work that you want here. Let me just keep this a little simple and I will just simply come here and insert a page number. What I can also do is type the name of my organization if I wanted to have that appear in the footer every time. So I'm just going to say and then just keep pressing a couple of tabs such that it reaches the end. Uh, if I wanted to, I can just, you know, kind of make it italics and that's just about it so you can actually make changes to the footer quite easily what you can also do is just click on it and then open this again and go to borders and background and you can just simply click here to install a line on top of it you can choose the line um, type or you can choose the color you can choose also the width so if you just go ahead and press ok you should see a line appearing on footer on every page and we can easily insert page numbers and some text inside footers. Let's do the same for headers also very quickly. So let's say for example I wanted to insert a header so I will just come and tap on the top of the page and then tap on this tab once again to reveal the header and this time around I have some more flexibility because I have been styling. I have that information available inside field. So what I can do is come to insert and go to fields and then choose more. Remember, you can also put in the date, time, all these kinds of things. But you can just click on more fields and then just come here and click. And you have various fields available here. So you can click on chapter and then just simply write chapter, number and name. So when you click on it and insert, you will find that the header now has chapter number and names. And if you wanted a line underneath this header, you can just do the same. Come open this up and just go to borders and background and put a line underneath this. If you wanted to change the color, you can make it a little bit more subtle and press OK. So you now have a line under the header and you have a line over the footer. You have inserted page numbers also. So this is one of the important things that you are required to do. This appears to be a list. So this is very easy. You can just simply come here and click on list. And uh, just as we were discussing before, you can open more options and then go to position. And then just simply remove a tab stop and have space to reduce the space between the bullet and the, the text. So this is how you can insert headers, footers and page numbers. Thanks for watching.